Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, in a previous couple of videos, we showed you how to add some Add to Cart buttons. And then in another video, we showed you how to make them responsive so they shrink down on mobile devices. In this video today, we're going to show you how to add a View Item button. Now, you may want to do this or you may not, because if you click on your image, it'll take it to that product. But some people like to have an extra view button or view item or whatever it is you want it to say there and you can click, click on that and again it'll take you to the product really easy to do we've got to add it to our functions php just like we did with our add to cart buttons here so i would recommend you using a child theme and we took you through how to easily add a child three theme in that first original video and i'll put that link below for anybody that wants to look at that I'm not going to go through adding the child theme again today so let me quickly undo what I've got done here and we'll start from scratch okay great well I've undone what we had there before and so we're just left with our add to cart buttons here to do this today I'm going to go over to stack overflow and I'll put this link below the video also once over here, if we roll down a bit, you can read it if you need to. Some nice little conversations going on there. We've got our bit of PHP code that we need to add right here. I'm going to select all of this from the top of the A there to the closing curly bracket at the bottom. Control C to copy. Then we need to go to our functions PHP file of our child theme. To do that, go down to your dashboard, down to appearance theme file editor and on the right hand side here we've got our functions PHP you can actually put it in the Divi one but be aware once the Divi site updates you may lose anything new that you put in here so we're doing it with a child theme like I said earlier have a look at that previous video if you want to easily set up a child theme nothing to it okay I've already got mine open over here and all I'm going to do is there's the original that we had in there for the actual add to cart buttons. These buttons right here. I'm going to drop down a couple of lines and I'm going to paste in what we just copied. Control V to paste. There it is right there. Then we need to go down to the update file. Click on it. And there it is, it says file edited successfully. If we go back to our shop page now and refresh, we've got our view product. And to me, when I'm hovering over it, it's breaking it a little bit. But let's check that it's gonna work anyway. If I click on it, it's gonna take us to that product, which is fine. Let's go back. Now yours, will not look like mine I've got some custom CSS code on mine and also because mine's breaking I don't want to take that actually down in size I'm just going to have it say view rather than view product if you want to do the same go to where we just put that code I've got two of them open here I'm going to close one of them and if we look down here right at the end we've got view product I'm going to shorten mine to just say product. So I'm going to delete the product at the end. And make sure you leave the little inverted comma e either side. Okay, well, let's update the file one more time. While that's doing that, if we go back here, the reason I said yours will not look like mine is because we added some custom CSS code. If we go down, here's a custom CSS that I wrote to actually make our buttons look rounded and purple with a blue colors there that match up the rest of our site we've got the colors up here just change it to what you want border radius width etc we also added a bit of code to make it responsive I'll put all of this down below you're welcome to copy it and paste it just change it to how you need it if you want to style your buttons if I comment this out forward slash star and at the end of the bit we want to comment out or we'll just put star forward slash and you may, may have noticed it's all gone a brown color there. Now we need to publish it. We go back to our shop page now and refresh. 
this button should just say view without the product part on the end and they'll go back to the default state there we go that's the default what happens when you put that PHP code in there raw like I say I've added a bit of CSS let's bring that back just to style mine a little bit more now if you wanted to and you haven't got the add to cart buttons there they've actually provided some PHP of style here so if we add this you can add it below where we put the last bit Control C again to copy we'll go back to the themes there again after that last curly bracket let's drop down a couple we'll add that in there we'll update the file now that file has been updated successfully if you look between the two style tags here we've got some styles on the regular button it's giving it a background color of white and the text color itself is black and it's got a two picks black border and then when they hover over it it's black and background color of black white writing and a two pixel solid black border too so let's go back to our shop now and see what that's looked like and let's refresh the page and as I reactivated our CSS it's using the corners anything they didn't write there it's taking in so it's using the corners and things but there it is with its border and it's black and if you prefer that you can do it that way and then of course if you want to change things you can go in there just change the colors to what you need there but for me I'm happy for them both to be the same with the CSS that I did in there so I'm going to delete that and we'll save it again but that's a great little option now when I go back they should go back to my original colors yep yeah, and there we are fantastic and like I say we added a bit of extra CSS code there to make sure it was going to work on mobile devices if I just show you that if I hit my F12 here there it is on mobile and they're working absolutely fine so there you go guys there's how to add let's get rid of this inspector there's how to add some view product or view buttons to your WooCommerce shop page or anywhere on your site where you've got products displayed and that's a great little feature to have just adds a little more functionality to it especially if you've got complex products so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day